Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 17 Barcelona career mode series. In today's episode we're going to be having a longer episode today. We're going to be having five games. We have a Copa de España game against Getafe, a league game against Alaves, a Champions League game. This is in the round of 16 against Manchester City. After that we have a league game against a newly promoted side and then to end off the episode we have a game against Atletico Madrid. So today's episode is jam packed so if you guys can go ahead and drop a like that will be greatly appreciated. Drop a comment down below that I could respond to. Subscribe also if you are new to the channel but without further ado let's head into the first game of today's episode. It's a midweek game against Getafe. So here we go with this game against Getafe in the Copa de España. This is I think the first leg in the semi-finals of the Copa de España, I think I might be wrong there, but we're heading into this game, yes it is the first leg against Getafe in the semi-finals. So we take a look at my Barcelona side for this game, to Stegen in goals, Sergio Berto, Mascherano, Umtiti and Hernandez at the back. In midfield, we've got Ivan Rakitic, Renato Sanchez and Rafinha, and front three of Denis Suarez, Luis Suarez and Dybala playing out on the right wing position. And the Getafe side looks like this. You can see their side for this game. They are starting a 4-2-3-1 formation. Something that we've come to know from the Spanish sides here in the league. All the Spanish sides so far this season are all starting a 4-2-3-1 formation. So let's head into this game. Let's hope that we can start off today's episode with the three points. Rakitic over top ball. Is it going to fall to Dybala? It is. Go on, Dybala. Can he go all the way? And he does. And poor Dybala makes a 1 0 after 19 minutes. A great finish there from Dybala into that bottom corner. And we've got off to the perfect start in this game. Good play here from Getafe down the wing. Cross is going to come in. Mascherano has to defend it. And he does. Oh, ball falls yet again to the Getafe striker. And another good save from Testegen. Still on at Dybala. We're going to play through. Rafinha, is he going to get there? Rafinha almost gets there. Denis Suarez with the rebound. But Rafinha showing his pace to almost get to that ball. Renato Sanchez. Luis Suarez plays it inside. Rakitic with a touch. Ivan Rakitic and a good save from the keeper. Corner. It's going to come in. Rakitic. And it's wide. And the game is going to end in a 1-0 victory to ourselves. A great way to start off today's episode. A solid 1-0 win against Getafe. We're 1-0 ahead on aggregate. Heading into the second leg in the Copa de España. So we are going to be having a training session here. With the same players. The thing is that I've swapped out Luis Suarez for Rafinha. We're having this training session. Not a good training session there from any of my players. 4 Ds and only 1 C. So we have a monthly scouting update. Let's take a look at this monthly scouting update. Not too good, really. There's Luis Godin, that's all right. His potential is 94, which is really good. He can also play in four, four positions, which is great also. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign him because we do need to sign one more young player. So we've signed him. And we are just going to, and I'm actually going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to scout further these three players. So here we go with the next game of today's episode. This team has just recently been promoted into the La Liga. So let's hope that we can go ahead, pick up the win, because we need, we really do need to continue picking up the points in the league. Because Real Madrid are slowly, slowly get it, bridging a gap between them in first position and us in second. It's a mountain to climb. You can see we have only conceded six goals. Alaves have only scored 15. They are the worst in the league when it comes to scoring. And we're the best in the league when it comes to actually defending and keeping clean sheets. This is the Alaves side. I don't know anything about their side. Let's take a look at their formation. They are actually going to be starting yet again a 4-2-3 formation. Similar to what the other sides are using here in the Spanish league. And my Barcelona side looks like this. To Stegen in goals, Bellerin has come back into the side. So has PK Boateng and Digne. In the midfield, we've got Iniesta, Sergio Busquets and Andre Gomez. The front three of Neymar, Dybala and Payet. Something different. Neymar playing alongside Payet and Dybala for this game. Andre Gomez, Sergio Busquets. Iniesta, to Neymar, 
Go on, Neymar. Cuts it inside. Plays it to Dybala. And there we go. Dybala scores again. This guy cannot stop scoring at the moment. That's why he's starting over Luis Suarez in this game. Neymar with a good ball and a great finish there from Dybala. First touch into the back of the net. It's 1-0. Alaves with the through ball. Cross is going to come in. Boateng looking to clear it out. But the header is a saved from Ter Stegen. Digne. Alaves are pushing all their players back. You can see straight from kickoff, they have a wall in their penalty area. Iniesta, Payet, Andre Gomez with the shot. It's wide. Iniesta, Andre Gomez, Payet, Dybala. Paulo Dybala, what a goal! In the 63rd minute, we've made it 2-0, but Dybala, with a standing shot, has put that one into the top corner, into the roof of the net. You can see from the replay. Dybala with a great finish. What a finish. That is directly in that top corner. And Dybala picks up three goals already in today's episode. Good ball through. Alaves with the chance. One-on-one -on -one chance here. Boltan goes with a sliding challenge, and they should have scored there. Not very good defending there from myself, and it should be 2-1 right now, but Alaves obviously don't have the quality to finish it off. Iniesta plays it wide. Digne inside to Dybala, looking for another goal. Dybala with the shot, could have got his hat-trick. Save from the keeper. Dimitri Pai going to play through. Is Neymar going to get there? No, he's not. Andre Gomez with the header. Oh, ball's going to fall to Payet. Still on it, Payet. Plays it through. Neymar with the shot. And there we go. It's 3-0 in the 83rd minute. A great performance here from my team. Neymar also picking up a goal. When was the last time we did see that? It's 3-0. A great 3-0 win there against Alaves. Dybala picking up two and also Neymar picking up a goal. Let's head into the midweek Champions League game. It's going to be a huge game against Manchester City. This is going to be a massive game against Manchester City at the Etihad. Man City, Barcelona, the first leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League. My team has been playing good from today's episode. Let's hope that we can keep it up. This is the away leg and it's going to be massive. We can see the tournament tree here. PSG will be playing Bremission Gladbach. Bayern Munich against Sevilla. Leicester City will be playing Sporting also in the round of 16. This is going to be a huge tie, guys. I think from the round of 16 other games, we have the most difficult tie when it comes to games in the round of 16. So we take a look at the Man City side for this game. Bravo in goals. Aurier, company, Otamendi, Gael Clichy, Fernandi, uh, Fernando, sorry, David Silva, Gundogan, Raheem Sterling, Aguero, and Kevin De Bruyne. What a side Manchester City do have. That's a very strong Man City side. And my Barcelona side, Ter Stegen in goal, Sergio Berto, Mascherano, Boateng and Lucas Hernandez will be starting this game in the midfield. Rakitic, Busquets, Rafinha with the front three of Neymar, Suarez and Dybala. There is no way Dybala will not be starting this game, especially after the recent performances he's been putting in. Here we go against Man City in the first leg. This is going to be a massive game, guys. Let's head into it. Gundogan, Fernando... Still on a Fernando, plays it. David Silva to Fernando and it's wide. Still on Aguero, crosses it in. Raheem Sterling with the header and it's wide of the goal. Silva, Fernando, Rakitic going to win it. Play to Luis Suarez, who is going to play through to Neymar. Go on, Neymar, make it 1-0. Neymar with the shot and there we go. We've picked up the away goal against Manchester City. We've taken the lead. It's Man City nil, Barcelona 1 in the 29th minute. We've got off to a great start in this round of 16 tie. But what a finish from Neymar making his way into goal. And Neymar in the past game picked up a goal. He's picked up a goal yet again. And what a finish into that top corner. We lead Man City 1-0 in the away leg. Aguero. Aguero with the cross. Mascherano almost scores an own goal there. And I wasn't even expecting that. Suarez going to switch all the way wide to Dybala. Dybala with a good ball. Rafinha. Rafinha make it 2-0. Good save from Bravo. Rakitic with the rebound. And we could have made it 2-0 there. We almost made it 2-0. And could you imagine if we were 2-0 up heading into the second leg? 
It's going to come in. David Silva, one on one chance. And to Stegen with a save. That fell straight to David Silva and a great save from Ter Stegen. Suarez. Suarez plays it through. Dybala making his one to goal. Can he pick up another goal? No, he's going to play it to Neymar who gets another one. And Neymar picks up another goal. It's 2-0 and it's two away goals here in the round of 16 of the Champions League against Manchester City. Dybala could have went himself. I played it to Neymar. And that's another goal for Neymar. It's 2-0 against Manchester City. Suarez with the header. And there we go, guys. What a win in the first leg in the round of 16 of the Champions League. We've pretty much already secured our spot into the quarterfinals with a huge 2-0 win over Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. It's a great win against Man City. Neymar picking up two goals. And in today's episode, it's been the Neymar and Dybala show. They're the two players that are really stepping up. So we are going to be having a training session here with these five players after a great win against Man City. The training with three Cs, a B from Rafinha who did go up quite a bit and Umtiti with a disappointing F. So we take a look at the league table. We're sitting in second position, four points behind Real Madrid, but they have played an extra game in us. We win our next La Liga game that will be played in today's episode against Leganes who are sitting in the ninth position. We win that game, we jump only one point behind Real Madrid. So you guys did see the league table. It is really close at the, top, at the top of the table. We need to make sure we're heading into this game, pick up the win. We're in some great form in today's episode. Yet to concede a goal, and Neymar and Dybala are absolutely killing it in today's episode. We take a look at my Barcelona side for this game. Of course, Dybala and Neymar are going to start alongside Luis Suarez in the front three. In the midfield, Iniesta, Roberto Sanchez, Renato Sanchez, sorry, and Andre Gomez, Bellerin, Pique, Umtiti, and Digne at the back with Ter Stegen in goals. We take a look at our opposition for this game. For newly promoted side sitting in ninth position, is actually quite good for themselves. Yet again, they're starting the 4 2 3 formation, the formation that is being used throughout all of the La Liga teams. Plays the through, go on Suarez. Can he at least do something? Cut it back. Luis Suarez with the shot. He's going to hit the post. He can't even score the goal. Luis Suarez is in some absolutely horrible form at the moment. He almost makes a 1-0, but he hits the post. Bellerin. Suarez with a good first touch. Luis Suarez with the shot. Safe from the keeper. Rebound, Andre Gomez. It's going to go wide. Go on, Dybala gets taken out. Referee, that's got to be a penalty. And yes, it is. In the 69th minute, we got a penalty as Dybala gets taken out. Yellow card for their winger. And we had the chance to put ourselves 1-0 in the lead. Luis Suarez needs to get some momentum. That's why he's going to take it. Suarez is going to miss it. And Luis Suarez can't catch a break right now. It was probably my fault. But we should have scored. Gomez. Gomez again is going to collect it to Dimitri Pai, who's just been subbed on. Luis Suarez over top yet again to Denis Suarez who's just been subbed on. Corner in the 88th minute. Dimitri Pai crosses it in. It's a header and it's gone in. It's Andre Gomez. And it's not one of the new players that have been subbed on. It's a player who has been on since we started the game. And Andre Gomez with the header. And it's late, but it's great in the 88th minute. And the header goes in. We've taken the lead. And let's hope that we can hold on to this lead. It's 1-0. Legan is still on it. Still on it. The shot is going to be saved from Ter Stegen, which is going to lead to a corner here in the last kick of the game. Could they hit back from the corner? They're still on it. Leganes are going to take a shot and yet again to Stegen with the save. Yet again to Stegen pulls off a good save. That is why we've conceded the least goals in the league. They're still on it. I thought that would have been over by now. Bellerin takes that man down, but it is going to end in a 1-0 victory. What an episode this has been today. There's still one more game to go against Atletico Madrid. Let's hope that we can end off today's episode with a massive, yet again, another three points. 
It is time to head into the final game of today's episode. It doesn't get any easier. It's Atletico Madrid in the league, in the La Liga, and here we go. We take a look at the Madrid side for this game. Gamero, Griezmann, Koke, Saul, Moya, Juanfran, Jimenez, Godin. It's an incredible Atletico Madrid side who are sitting in the fifth position, and this is going to be a great game. And we take a look at my Barcelona side to Stegen, Bellerin, Pique, Boateng, Digne in the midfield. Busquets, Andre Gomez and Ivan Rakitic with the front three of Neymar, Suarez and Dybala. Turnover. Atletico Madrid, Gamero, Boateng with a great win. Suarez, Sergio Busquets, incredible ball through. Go on Neymar, can you pick up another goal? Neymar, one-on-one -on -one chance, and he's done it. It's 1-0 after nine minutes, and Neymar has been incredible in today's episode. What a start to this game against Atletico. A great ball through, and Neymar, brilliant finish into that back of the net. It's 1-0, get in, boys. Griezmann with a long ball. Rakitic with the header. Dybala, Gamero's going to win it. Dybala's taken him down, and we've just given away a penalty. And after a great episode without conceding today and Dybala being on form and he's just given away a penalty there. And is that just going to be a yellow? Yes, luckily, fortunately for us it's only a yellow but I've given away the penalty through Dybala. Atletico Madrid have the chance to score the first goal or for us to concede our first goal for today's episode. 1-1 -on -one chance and Atletico are going to score. It's 1-1. One -one. Neymar to Sergio Busquets. Gomez. Back to Busquets. Who plays it through? Luis Suarez. And finally he scored. Luis Suarez scores to make it 2-1 in the 49th minute. And there we go. We've got our lead back. Busquets. Plays it through. Digne. Plays it inside. And that should be enough. And that is it. The game is going to end in a 2-1 win to ourselves. What a way to end off today's episode. And overall, just what an incredible episode. A great way to end off today's great episode with a 2-1 win against Atletico. Let's take a look at the league table before we end off today's episode. So we take a look at the league table. We're still one point behind Real Madrid. But that is how we're going to end off today's episode. If you did enjoy today's episode of the Barcelona Crew Mode, Drop a like, drop a comment, just what an incredible episode. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos from myself. And I'll see you all on my next video.